YouTube, WJ's Handy Dad here. Today we're talking about reviving dead golf cart batteries. So I'll be honest, I don't know what happened here, but turned up with three of the golf cart batteries showing 0.0, .0 volts. You see they're stamped June, July, and August of 2015, depending on which battery. So they're roughly three years old. I find this should last about five years. Now I know we've had a really abnormally hot summer here in Central Texas. So I don't know if that was it or or what, to be honest. But anyway, this, this, and this all had zero volts. This one was showing three, and then the two over in the corner were showing closer to normal, although low. Anyway, low enough that the golf cart charger won't kick on because you know all these chargers nowadays have these special protections in them to keep them from kicking on so little trick one thing you can do if you've got a somewhat good battery that will kick on the charger is go ahead and put a charger to it so in here I've got a 6 volt battery charger hooked up to one. Now these are 8 volt batteries but don't freak out too much because a 6 volt charger puts out close to 8 volts and it's enough to at least get this charged up enough to where the golf cart charger will eventually turn on. So I'm charging this one up. I got it up to 7 volts. Then what I did is hooked up hot to hot ground to ground on the dead battery. And what that did is it lets a little bit trickle over, put the charger on, and it's now charging both batteries. Once you get this going, you can either daisy chain it continuously or just move on to the next battery and the next battery and so on. So it's a little bit of a lengthy process, but I'm hoping in the end to get all of these up to where they're showing 7 volts and then plug in the golf cart charger and hopefully that'll bring them up the rest of the way. So I don't know if that's gonna work, but that's what we're gonna try. And uh, I'll let you know if it works. So you see with the charger, it puts out about 7.5. off of the battery that was showing zero earlier. Now if I pull the charger, obviously that's going to drop substantially, so I'm going to let it keep charging. It's pulling about 3 amps right now, so it's basically pulling a real slow charge. I'm not showing how many amps it's pulling. This charger is kind of nice because it offers you 12 and 6 volt options and like, even though it says 10 amps on 6 volts basically that's saying it will allow up to 10 amps but over there you can see what it's actually pulling so when it I first hooked it up it was pulling the full 10 but as it's gotten a little charged up it's starting to pull less and less <laughs> 